Hi, it's Matt Falloon from Matt Falloon and his Train Balloons in Sydney, Australia. I'm here for Balloon Magic and today I'm going to teach you how to make an adorable little chubby tortoise. To get started with this sculpture, we're going to need to prepare two 350 mocha or mocha browns, one 11 inch round lime green balloon, one mocha or mocha brown 12 inch quick link, and two 16 inch lime green geo blossoms. To begin, I'm going to grab one of my 16 inch lime green blossoms and I'm going to inflate it basically full but I'm leaving the first chamber collapse between my fingers. The easiest way for me to do that is to pinch this between my finger and thumb so air can still travel around and then inflate the other four chambers. I'm going to soften this down to give us this shape which is tied nice and close to the air. I can then sort of massage the air around to make the shape a little bit more consistent. The next step is to split this directly in half. So I'm going to sort of draw an imaginary line from the bottom two uh, blossoms straight up through to the nozzle and I'm going to split that as close as I can to exactly in half. If you can't get it close, just get it exact. Twist that a few times to make this structure. Now I've got to do this again in my other blossom. Hide this out of the way. So once again, pinching thumb and forefinger around the first chamber. Inflating the other four. Tying nice and close to the bubble and then doing an even split directly in two. You can unwind just a little bit to equalize the pressure in between the two bubbles to get these nice and even. The next step is we're going to take our two sets of split geos and we're going to lock them together as if we were making a quad. So it just goes, bam, straight together like this. Use it against your body. And lock in all four to create this structure with four double chambered bubbles all the way around. You'll find that there's a small chamber on top and a large chamber underneath. You want all the small chambers to be on one side of the structure, all the large chambers to be on the other side. And if there are any noticeably smaller sections of this structure, try to position those together so you've got too small at the back, too large at the front. That just helps everything look a little bit more even. Next, we're going to use our Mocha Brown Quick Link and going to inflate it basically all the way. About there. And tie that off so we've got a lot of space in between the knot and the nozzle because this is going to lock down into the sec centre section of this structure. Straight in down like that. We're then going to pull this to one side and grab the tail of our quick link and lock that down tightly into the other side. Just dragging that in and locking it around. We'll probably do that a little bit better. Dragging that in, keeping hold of it, and twisting it in a bunch of times to secure that in place, giving you this structure here. This is the basic body structure of my Flower Bud series of creations. To make the head, we've got our 11 inch round. I'm going to blow that up so it's round and tie it off, leaving lots of tail. That then just simply attaches straight back into the structure on one side. If you did have noticeably smaller and larger sized legs, make sure that it's en entering the structure at the larger legs, the front legs. Finally, to finish the tortoise, we're going to use our brown 350s to create a lip around his shell. So I'm inflating that all the way of about four fingers remaining or two inches remaining. Soften that back. I'm going to begin with a pinch twist, which is going to be about a two inch bubble. 
dragged into a pinch twist. Give that a squeeze. I'm going to come across about six or seven inches, I'd say. Another two inch pinch twist. And then using this leftover tail, I'm going to wrap this all the way around under the chin of the tortoise, all the way around the back. And I should have enough length to get that to tie into the pinch twist on the other side. Once I get that all straightened out, you'll see what we're going for. Just like that. The final step is we're going to create a hood for the shell, which is just going to go from this pinch twist over the head and to the other. I'm going to inflate about halfway, tie that off. I'm going to remember the side that I tied the scrap end into and tie this into that end and that'll help lock all of those together. So I'm going to wrap that round, find the scrap end that I had before and tie those two together and that just helps secure everything in place into that junction there. And then straight over the top, over to the other side and locked in, I can then remove any excess and tie that structure together. And that gives us the basic body structure of our adorable chubby tortoise. We're going to do some pretty simple artwork on here. When doing artwork with markers, it's important to start with your lightest color first. So I'm going to draw two white sections on which are going to become the eyes of our tortoise. Just color those in. This white pen tends to be a little bit scratchy once you've had them for a while, but we're going to be filling this in with uh, some color, so the total white surface area won't be that dominant. White's just to give us our base, so any colors we put on top are going to really be bright. Drawing blue straight onto green is going to give you some strange results, whereas drawing blue onto white is going to be a lot easier to judge what's going to happen. So once we've got that, while we let that dry, I'm going to grab a nice thick black marker and do two little nostrils and sort of a goofy little smile and a couple of eyebrows just to give him some expression. Hopefully our white's dried enough now, should be good to draw just some basic shapes. When drawing, keep it nice and simple. So I've just drawn a uh, elongated circle with two smaller circles on the inside, and then I just fill in any negative space in between those circles like that. Those two white spots just add a little bit of life to the eyes. Looks like they're reflecting a little bit of light. Try to keep your white spots the same, so not mirror imaged on both eyes. So if you've got a white spot in the top left of the left eye, put the white spot in the top left of the right eye as well. Finally, we're going to do our pupils, which I'm just going to fill in around those white spots so we have an in-between pupil, which is just going to border the top white spot and completely frame the bottom white spot. And then to fill in his eyes, I'm just going to do following the white shape around to the bottom. All the way around. Straight to there. And that's the basic sort of turtle face. But of course that body structure is very versatile. You can use it for a number of different creatures. As an example here I've made Bessie the Moo Cow. Isn't she adorable? I've used a 11-inch uh, cow print for that one with a raisin inside to lock it in on both sides and some 321s for the longhorns. And then lastly, I've got Oinky the pig, which is just using a uh, heart balloon to make the pig snout. And we've got an adorable little hook-twisted uh, piggy tail there on the end. So have a play with this design. There's so much you can do with it. I'm getting a lot of fun out of these. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. The Flower Buds, created with Qualitex.